Hi folks, this is Karim Rao from IT Visualizer channel. We will continue our lab determinator lab. This is the video number seven. We have been discussing in the previous video the following. We have been continue working with our uh, skynet.internal domain. We have created our additional domain controller. Uh, and the previous video, we have automated the deployment of DHCP installation and configuration using a script. So this was one script that created everything, installed the DHCP feature and it configured the scope or the uh, IP addresses scope and activate them and authorize the DHCP server in the Active Directory. Everything was done using one script. Today, we will discuss uh, another mega script that will do a lot of things. It will, uh, first of all, it will create folders. So in the previous video also, we didn't only install the HCP feature and configure it, but we installed the file server feature and the file server resource manager feature. So today we will begin working with these two features. So now our server now is not only an additional domain controller and not only a HCP server, but it is a file server as well. I just need to remember you all with this graph. So we have our virtual box. This is our hypervisor. This is the Packer HashiCorp, the automated tool that we use to automate the creation of virtual machines and uh, automate of Windows installation and uh, automate some uh, installation of some programs. Okay, so this is our second server. This is SKN HQDC0212. This is our additional domain controller or ADC. And previously we have installed DHCP and we have the file server feature installed. And this is the IP address of the server. Today we'll begin creating, or our mega script will create folders on the file server. It will be shared, okay, with different permissions, and we will create Active Directory home folders on this file server. And also it will take permissions and access automatically. So. Not only this, also a lot of things. So basically what we will do, this large mega script will create folders on the file server, will share them with NTFS permission and SMB share permissions, and we will create Active Directory home folders on the file server. So basically this script will do a lot of things. Let's go uh, directly and see the script in action. So what is the script? The script basically the first line is to start the transcript output directory, and this is the location. This first line says, or what does it do? It logs or uh, write everything in a log. So all what will be done in this script will be written to a folder. Uh, it will be written to a text file in this in this location in D scripts permission log. Okay, so this is the first line. Okay, the second line something. Uh, we call it install a module named NTFS security. So this is a PowerShell module that will be installed from the internet. So it will be downloaded and installed from the internet that will help us set NTFS permissions on our different folders. Okay, this can be done without using this module, but it will be uh, so difficult and will not be as easy as installing this module. So we install the NTFS security module. After installing it, we need to import it to the PowerShell module so we can begin using it. Okay, so this is the first three lines. The third line, I'm telling you to create a new folder named DataCube. This folder will contain all of the different department uh, folders that will be shared or this will contain the different department shares so we will create a folder named data cube new item i am telling him to create a folder named data cube in it we will create about 20 folders every folder will be for a specific department and then we will share it for this department so he will create this folder and then he need to go to a certain text file named folders and read it and after reading it, he will create subfolders in the data cube main folder. Let's see this text file. If we go there and see the folders, if you go there, there is something called folders. We can see that there is about, uh, I don't remember how much they are, but if you can tell him control A uh, and tell him to view the count, let's see the status bar. Okay. So here, 
anyway, we have uh, a lot of folders. So these are all folders for every uh, for every continent. Remember that we have our in Skynet. Internally, we have five, seven continents: Africa, Asia, and so and so. So every the part, uh, every continent will have folders concerning it. So, for example, this is Austria. It will have four or five folders. Europe will have four or five folders. So these are the folders. These folders will be created under the data cube. Okay, so again, we will return to the script. The script says that we need to create the data cube folder. This is the main folder. And then go to the folders, this text, the one that I was seeing now. In it, there is subfolder names. He will create them from, their names will be uh, got from this text file. Okay, so this is basically the second all of this line until this bracket. This all concerning creating a main folder and subfolders. And this, uh, its main objective is to create department folders so they can be shared after that to be accessed by different departments. Okay, so this is the first uh, part of the script. Then, then it will sleep for 20 seconds or we will wait for 20 seconds. And then we will begin uh, uh, what we will do after creating these folders. We'll begin to share them and set on them SMB share permissions and NTFS share permissions. So we can see that this first script, SMB shares script three and four and five, all of these are scripts that we will use to set permissions and share the department folders that we have created earlier. So let's see this until this line. Okay, so all of these are SMB share permissions to be set and not only setting the SMB share permissions, but to share them as well. Okay, so let's go and see uh, every, every one of these things. So for example, we'll go to this script, SMB share permissions is three. So if we go there, SMB shares permission three, this is one. We will open it by notepad. So here we can see that he is sharing a certain folder. Okay. He is sharing all of the folders under data cube. Okay. So what he will do is telling him to read a certain file. This file contains the groups that I need them to access the shared folders. So this line it will do it will create or it will share the folders under data cube and then it will set permissions on these uh, shared folders from a certain csv file i will show you all this csv file but this is basically what we are talking about here we are granting or we are sharing folders under data cube and then we will go or the script will go and read a certain csv file that contains each group will access uh, which folder and with what permission. Let's see this uh, CSV file. So it's SMB shares a group. Let's go and see this folder. Uh, it's groups two. This is the one. So if we open it, let's open it there and open it like this. If we open, uh, if we go and like this and try to expand it a little, here we can see that this is the folder. So the script will share the folder and then after that it will set the permission on the shared folder this is the folder or the shared folder name i think this is the name of the folder not the share name okay anyway so this is the folder this is the group and this is the permission okay so after sharing the folder we will set permissions from this csv file so for example i need this group to have change permission on the folder named global terminal so he will share it and then he will set permissions on it from this CSV file. So we can see that there is a lot of groups with a lot of permissions, okay? So we can see this is very, very simple. This is the first script, okay? Or this is, let me show you all, or let's continue. So if we return again to our script, we can see that this is the first line. It will be uh, uh, implemented. The second line, another SMB share, uh, another SMB script, named the script number four let's go and see it if you go to number four and open it if you open number four so what is number four number four it is basically another script that will set some share permissions 
on the folders we have shared earlier. So we know that, for example, SMB uh, uh, share script three have shared some folders and set some permissions on them. This is another script that will have another permissions on the same shared folders. Okay. So here I am telling him, for example, in this script to give the IT full control over the shared folders that we have worked on earlier. Okay. So if I open, uh, for example, and also he will get these permissions from a CSV file. So if I open it, let me open or give you uh, uh, the permissions here, or let me show you the permissions. So if we go and close this one, if we open this one, so he can see these are the same folders that we have seen earlier in script number three. They are the same, but here I give admins full control over them. Okay, so the same folders shared earlier. Okay, we will give different groups or we'll give the IT group full control over the folders. Okay, so the previous script give different uh, users group change permission and this script will give IT full permission on the folders. Okay, so this is the second script or script number four, and this is all of it. Okay, so this is the script, and let's uh, continue or uh, see what we will do next. So these two two scripts will share folders and give different groups uh, different permissions on the folders. Change exactly, and this script will give IT full control over the shared folders, okay? They are the same folders, but will be set with different SMB share permissions. Some will have a change and some will have full control, okay? And the fifth script, here I am removing some users from the shared permissions. Remember, when you are sharing any folder by default, there is every one group have read permission on this folder. So in this script, I'm telling him to remove all of every one group from all of the shared folders. Let's go and open the script. If you open it, this is script number five, and you'll open it like that. So you can see I tell him to revoke every one group from all of the shared uh, folders. If we open and these shared folders, I am listing them in a CSV file. If you go again and open this one, this is number two. Okay, not this one. So I think this is, let me see what is the folder here. So yes, it is SMB share groups CSV. This is the same. He will go there and see the folders. He will not set permissions here. He need to go and see the folder name. And then he will remove, will remove everyone from this shared folder. Okay, so he will not set the permissions again, but he needs to go and see the name of the folders and their shared names, and then he will begin removing every one group from every one of these shared folders. Okay, so this is basically three scripts that will set three different SMB share permissions. Some for the IT to have full control, some for uh, different departments to have change permission, and another one to revoke every one group from every shared folder okay so this is uh, about the five lines and then we have so we can see that after every one of these scripts we will wait for 20 seconds okay and the last one is to set the ntfs permissions okay so all of these are the sfb share permissions this one will set the ntfs permissions so let's go and see the script NTFS, okay. If we go to the NTFS permission, if you open it, we will see here that he is going to the shared folders in Data Cube and then he will go and read a CSV file that contains every group and the NTFS permission beside it. Okay, so let's see the CSV file. If you go to the CSV file, this is the CSV file you can see that this is the shared folder. This is, uh, if we open, let's wait for a moment. If we open these, open it like that, here we can see that every folder and the NTFS permission. Remember that in the uh, uh, SMB we have change. Here it is modified. 
So change it is equivalent to modify in the NTFS share permission. So here we can see every folder and the correspondent group beside it. Okay, so this is the NTFS permissions. So this is basically what we are talking about. The script is going and uh, uh, doing one by one this is the ntfs permissions so this is basically all of these are related to the department folders and the department shares all of these first or all of these lines until this line are all related to the department folders and department shares okay this is script from beginning of this line i'm telling him to create a folder named biochips this folder will contain the active directory home folders Okay, so here I'm telling him to create a folder named biochips and then share this folder so everyone in the Active Directory can access it or users in the Active Directory can access this folder. And here I am writing domain users. This group contains all of the users in the domain. They will have full control over this shared folder. They need to do this so they can access the folders in uh, this uh, main folder so they can access their active directory home folder so this is the share permission and we will give uh, another group ski and all this also is a group that contains all of the users in the domain these two groups will have full control over the bio ships main folder okay and then we will revoke every one group from this folder or or remove every one group from this sh folder shared or from this folder uh, shared permissions okay we need to remove everyone okay and then we will set ntfs permissions using our uh, ntfs module that we have installed earlier so we are giving domain users full control as an ntfs permission and skn all ntfs permission full control remember we are doing this because in the, this script or this create home folder script it will create a folder for every user in the active directory Okay, and every user have full control over his folder. These folders are called Active Directory Home folders. So Bioships is the main folder, and it is created. And then this script will create subfolders in Biochips main folder. Every subfolder will be for an Active Directory user, and he will have full control over his subfolder. Okay, I will show you a graph that will uh, recap all of these things. But this is the folder that will be shared and it will be used by this script to create subfolders in it that will be the active directory home folders for the users let's see this script in action if you go to create home folder go to create home folder we risk create home folder here it is if you open it and then we can see here is he will go to a certain csv file that will cont contain the active directory usernames okay and he will create a folder by or the folder name will be the same as the username so for example if i have a username in the active directory called kerauf he will create an active directory home folder named kerauf so he will go to this csv file and read the user names of the active directory users and create folders with the same username okay so as we can see here that this biochips folder that we have shared earlier he will create a folder okay under it by the username of the user okay i will show you all this csv file and then he is giving it uh, an l okay it will be mapped as an as a network drive and will be have the l uh, param uh, the l drive letter and he will have full control over his folder every user will have full control over his folder let me show you all this csv file if you go there and see the csv file something called marvel home users if you open it so we can see here that this if you go there and open it here you can see this is the username and this is the location of the username okay in the active directory so we will create a folder by the same name of the sam account name or the same name of the active directory username and we will give him full, full control over his folder okay so this is basically what we will do this script it will do like this let's go and see this other lines in the script okay so this is create home folder so he have created the active directory uh, home folders this script 
okay he will wait for 20 seconds this script will create file quotes so every user or every, every active directory home folder every department share we will set a quota for each folder for example you can put five giga on each folder so this is quota and also this script will put some file screening options for example i need to block audio and media files on these shared folders okay this is the script that we will use so let's go and see also the script as we can see these are all useful scripts done in one mega script let's go and see this script in action this is called file screen quota if we open it what we can see here this is the folder that we need to set quota on so we'll set 40 gigabyte on it okay this is a limit 40 gigabyte and this will be shared between all of the department this is called uh, say say like this it is it is a, a hardware or it is a hard quota okay so what we'll do will every subfolder in the data queue folder it will take or let, 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 let's say it like that data queue folder we have a quota on it 40 gigabyte so the main folder will have 40 gigabyte quota the subfolders will share this quota okay so for example if we have a data cube and under it 20 subfolders they will all have the quota of 40 gigabyte they will share it between them for example maybe one subfolder can take the whole 40 gigabyte and then no one can put any data on it or they can split it between them okay so this is the first thing this is called the size of 40 gigabyte here we can see that it will limit to 40 gigabyte and the size okay this is the first thing and then we have another kind of quota called auto quota remember bioships contains subfolders which are active directory home folders this uh, quota will be 40 gigabyte for each folder okay so under bioships there is for example 30 folders which are active directory home folders each one will have 40 gigabyte they will not share it between them everyone will have 40 gigabyte okay so these are basically the three lines these two lines we are blocking audio and video on the on these two folders okay and subfolders okay and then if any uh, uh, accident happen for example maybe if someone have put an audio and video files on these two folders it will be logged in the uh, event viewer and uh, this is the basically the last line to log it in the event log okay so this is a very good script that will save us a lot of time okay after finishing it we will wait for 20 seconds and then we will import a group policy this group policy its main function is to uh, map the department shared folders under the data cube it will share it okay as network map drives to the departments we will see that i will show you a graph that will explain it more so this is the uh, last line maybe in the script and then it will stop logging in what happened in this script and then script ended okay this is basically the script let me show you all a little bit of a graph that will uh, recap all of what we are talking about so if we go and see this uh, see this graph if you go further so for example here we can have a look this is our file server okay and then we have a script so this is the hard disk of the server and then we will run a script or we will we will run a script that will create these folders for the departments automatically okay and it will share them automatically smb shared permissions okay and give every group permissions on the folder okay so we can see here that this green uh, green uh, uh, green color this resembles the smb share permissions if you go further down here we can see that these folders okay we will have a script that will create these folders and will share them and will give them smb share permissions which are the green ones so for example we can see that the it group will have a folder shared as it okay and they will have full control over their folder or have a change for example okay so this is it we will create a, or we will have a script to create the folders and other script to share the folders and give them smb share permissions 
And as for the NTFS permission, there is another script that will put these SMB, uh, these uh, uh, NTFS permissions on the same folder, okay? So we have two scripts. We have one script to create the folders and then share them and then give SMB share permissions and another script to give NTFS permissions, okay? If we go further down, these are the department shares. If you can see here, these are two scripts, SMB that will give or we give the green ones or give the uh, permissions on uh, the folders this script will do that and this script will give the ntfs permissions okay on the folders okay so this is basically what the script will do and at the end when the user logged in so we have a mapping mapping group policy this mapping group also if you can see here this is user this is the hr shared folder it is mapped to the user Okay, so we can see here that it is this shared folder. It's not only appearing as a shortcut, it is appearing as a network map drive. This is through the mapping group policy. Okay, and we can see here there is another shared folder called widow. This is the Active Directory home folder. It is shared as an L partition, and this is as an M partition. We can see also that here, this is the quota. If we go or we can zoom it a little bit, we can see that it has a quota of, of 10 gigabyte shared uh, quota and 2 gigabyte specifically for this user okay so we can see here this is what will appear for the user and this will be used using the mapping group policy okay let me show you all another uh, one or another uh, sorry let me show you all another uh, graph so this is related to the active directory uh, let's go further here. This is related to the Active Directory. Let's see here. So this is related for the Active Directory home folders. This is the file server, and this is the hard disk. And then these are the folders or the Active Directory home folders. And every user, they will be shared, of course. And every user will have full control over his folder. So, for example, if we go there, we can see here that. Kira of PC, he will have this shared folder, Active Directory Home folder, he will have full control as an SMB share permission, and he will have NTFS permission on the folder. Okay, so this is basically the same as the department share, but if we uh, go further, or let me show you all this graph, if you go there, so we can see that if you go further, we have this script, okay, home folder permission. We will have the user. This is the main folder or BioShips folder. And we will have a folder for each user. This resembles the Active Directory home folders. Kareem will have full control over his folder. Every one will have full control of his folder and it will be as an L drive, okay? We will see it in the Active Directory like this. This is the Active Directory home folder. The script will go to the home folder and will give it or will share the folder with the username of or the active directory username okay this is basically the script okay so all we have seen this this is the script and in details what it will do so in the upcoming video we will see all of this in action we will see how the script will be implemented how everything will be done automatically and will save us a lot of time hope this video is important for you all and thank you all for viewing thank you so much